This is Pack Slap and the Bandit. And you're chilling with us on the next level at 89.9 FM in Hayward. Check us out on Twitter, Pack Slap. Pack Slap and the Bandit. Pack Slap and the Bandit. That's that's what's up. So how, how when did you guys start producing? Um, we started off together, me, me and the Bandit. We started off in um, about 02, 03. Uh, we were partners and um, I was already making beats for, for like a year before I met, met the Bandit. Right. And um, uh, you know, he was he was interested, and he he understood the techniques that yeah. I was applying. You feel me? So, so, what do you guys work on? Is my question. What do you mean? Like 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 like. Oh, like, 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 yeah. I start I started off on a Insonic MR seventy six, mm. and then but like a beat uh, machine or something. Yeah, that's a beat machine. Okay. Yeah, that's like a synthesizer. Okay. And then we started using like various drum drum machines. And stuff. Nice. Then after that, well, after oh three and oh four, mm -hmm. we started using like Reasons and um, Reason is Reason. like. Yeah, Some high-tech stuff. Yeah. That's what's up. So you Pro Tools too? Or? Pro Tools, Fruity Loop, Fruity. Acid, everything. Acid, just, so all the programs? We use, we use Acid and Fruity Loop mainly for sampling and then That's for synths and stuff. You know, the uh, Omnisphere, Reason, That's the Trillion up. Bass Module. So you, you're pretty much uh, multitask in all the programs. Yeah. Give me maybe the top five tracks that you guys worked on that, that to you was like, man, I can't believe I did that. Um, you know what I mean? That was that was your favorite, I guess. One of my I, actually, when I, one of my favorites that Pack did while I was away was probably Trafficking. When I heard that beat, I like I like the one me and Bandit did when he, when he just got out, and when he got out, we did uh, we did uh, my middle name is Crime. Mm -hmm. uh, that was picked up for the Orange and Nicotina and Jack album that's wow. in stores right now. It's an EP. That's what's and up. We did man. the title track on there. That that was a good look. That's, that's that's sick. How did you get connected with uh, working with these people and actually start producing them? Uh, what happened was uh, about the bandit. He got locked up in 03 and the, in a, in a, oh no, in '06. My bad. And, um, <laughs> he was like, that was another time. <laughs> at, at, that, at that time, yeah, that was another time. Yeah. I, so he got locked up in '06, and yeah. then um, uh, uh, I started working solo. And um, I've been new the Jack. I knew the Jack since '02. Okay. And uh, I ran to him again. He came to my studio in '07. Where's your studio at? Um, in Hayward. Hayward. Yeah, it, it, it was just in my garage. You feel me? That's what's up. That's how so, everybody starts out. Yeah. So um, uh, so he came through the spot and mm -hmm. he was like, man, I've been hearing you and you dope, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, he never pushed the button. Yeah. But then he was like, look, I'm 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 push the button for yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. So he brought PK and he brought a uh, Lee Major too. Gold me. Lee. Yeah. Lee Lee came through. He you know I I got plays. I came on the Yuck Mouth album on the mess. Wow. Came Sweet. on the burner. Came on the um San Quinn. Mm. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff, man. Wow.